I found this video about blackwashing, it's the most stupid hypocritical shit I've ever seen and I'm making a video about it because I have nothing else better to do. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's do the thing. Whitewashing is a problem. From Liam Neeson and Batman Begins to Scarlett Johansson and Ghost in the Shell and well pretty much any US anime adaptation ever. Dragon! I mean, like, to be fair, most US live-action anime adaptations, besides being shit, they're almost all, like, set in America, and most people in America are white, not Japanese, so that makes sense. Whitewashing is when Hollywood takes a character who is a person of color in the source material and casts a white actor for the final portrayal we see on screen. But what about when a white character is played by a person of color on screen? Representation might upset some people who can't accept popular comic book characters like Nick Fury, Johnny Storm, and Domino as people of color, but this thing some people call blackwashing is not a problem. It's not even a thing. We're only 30 seconds into this fucking video, and it's already so fucking hypocritical. Oh, when we change a black comic book character, for example, to a white person, that's racist, but if we take a white comic book character and turn them black, that's representation. Shut the fuck up. Whitewashing is when Hollywood takes a character who is a person of color in the source material and casts a white actor for the final portrayal we see on screen. If you take that exact same sentence and you just change the words white and black, it suddenly doesn't exist anymore. It's not a problem. But let's start with why whitewashing is so harmful. Despite all the amazingly nerdy movies and shows coming out in the recent years- Fuck the live action Death Note movie, it literally ruined one of my favorite series of all time. Fuck you for even showing me and reminding me it fucking exists, you piece of shit. People of color are still barely represented. Look at any random trailer or poster and odds are you'll usually see a white person as- I mean maybe that's because you just showed a bunch of movie posters with characters that are white in both the source material and the movie. What, you want fucking black Batman? Fuck you. No. No black Batman. Believe. So when Hollywood takes one of the few examples of canon representation that we do have and casts a white person for whatever reason, you're taking away an opportunity for us to be seen. For me personally, this was especially egregious in the Avatar The Last Airbender movie. I was very attached to the show's character Katara, from her dark skin to her great big poofy hair. Dark skin to her great big poofy hair. Big poofy hair. What big poofy hair? Katara doesn't have big poofy hair. She just has regular, like, straight hair. Also, don't tell anyone I told you this, but Katara isn't black. Shh. It, see, in Avatar, every single one of the four nations is based on an Asian country and culture. So, uh, the Air Nomads are Tibet, and uh, the Fire Nation is Japan, the Earth Kingdom is China, and the Water Tribes are Inuit. Which, I guess, Inuits don't live in Asia, technically? Well, I mean, they live in part of Siberia, which is technically in Asia. And they look pretty Asian as well, so... Anyway, your biggest problem with the Avatar movie should not be what color the actors are. It should probably be the fact that it's absolutely fucking shit. Everything about this movie is bad, okay? The acting is bad, the visual effects are bad, they've butchered the fucking story. It's just awful. It's, 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 it's literally the worst adaptation fucking ever. And the fact that her mom had the same name as me. I was crushed when I saw white actress Nicola Peltz in the movie adaptation because it erased the aspects of Katara that I saw in myself. On the other hand, having a person of color play a previously white character isn't taking away white representation. No it isn't, but you know what I see when I see a black Achilles or a black Ariel? I don't see representation, I see, oh, they changed the character I liked so that someone else in the audience might feel special for two minutes. If you want more black characters in movies, how about you create new stories with new characters that are black instead of changing old stories to fit your fucking political agenda. It's creating new representation and role models for people that Hollywood has ignored for too long. 
when Michael B. Jordan took over as the Human Torch, it opened a door for a new narrative in which a black man and a white woman could be siblings long before This Is Us made a sob every Tuesday night. And I think we can all agree that Michael B. Jordan is a pretty damn good actor, like, right? You wanna see Black Panther? Just me? Cool. Haha, <laughs> she did a funny. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Anyway, uh, do you really need your, like, role models, models to be the same color as you? Because I don't. I haven't really had that problem, I guess. I can't only relate to people with the same skin color as me. I'm unsure if I might. I might be mentally retarded or something that I can relate to people regardless of skin color. But, you know, I, I might just be fucking stupid. Who knows? But then again, just like my earlier point, why do you have to take white characters and turn them black to create role models instead of just, you know, making original black characters that then can be role models for children? Is this your game? Despite the film's flaws, he's an extremely talented dude who absolutely did justice to the role. Johnny Storm's whiteness is not essential to his character. Okay, sure, uh, Blade's blackness isn't essential to his character, so let's make him white. And what about Roland from the Dark Tower series? You know, his whiteness was essential to his character and to the story overall. But you know, they still cast a black person to play him in the movie. What made him being white so important is that in the books he almost gets killed because of his skin color by a black woman who is racist against white people. Oh, now I remember. Black people and other minorities can't be racist. How could Stephen King be so stupid? He probably just forgot about that. The Human Torch has always been defined by his hot-headed attitude, so why should it matter if he's played by a black man? It doesn't take anything away from the role and gave kids of color a new hero to look up to. It's not a new hero though, it's uh, it's the same guy but just with a different skin for no reason. If you want new heroes for kids of color to look up to, then make new heroes of color. The same goes for Nick Fury. He's just a guy with an eye patch who's in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. There's nothing about his character or his role that requires him to be white. Now look at the ancient one from Doctor Strange. They're from the Himalayas, teaching Himalayan culture and folklore. It's central to the character. But in the movie, the Ancient One is played by a white woman. It's a huge missed opportunity to cast an Asian actor in a role. The Ancient One could have been elevated to the same status that Samuel L. Jackson brought to Nick Fury. The reason the Ancient One was changed from a Tibetan man to a Celtic woman is because of China. See, in China, they really like Marvel movies. But what China doesn't like is Tibet. Marvel and Disney knew that if they wanted to make any money in China, they would have to change the Ancient One from a Tibetan man to a something else. This isn't because, you know, white people racist against Asians. This is, be this is because Asian people racist against Asians. He inflated Fury from a 60s James Bond homage to a movie icon in his own right. And Zazie Beetz could do the same for Domino. I grew up watching Domino on Wolverine and the X-Men, where she's portrayed with comics accurate pale blue skin and a black circle around her eye. Now, she's a black woman with natural hair and her traditional look is still there right down to the eye tattoo, it's just inverted now. But again, Domino in the comics isn't defined by being a white woman. It's not part of her character in any way. I thought you just said she was blue. Casting a black actress does nothing to damage a Domino we know. In fact, it just gives black nerds like me someone else I can cosplay as. Someone who I can see myself in. Again, I think it's kinda sad that you can only see yourself in and relate to people with the same skin color as you. That's kinda fucking weird, but you know, again, maybe I'm fucking mentally handicapped, I don't know. And then, you know, again, you can cosplay as people that aren't the same skin color as you. I, I've seen plenty of people do that, so that's not a problem someone who I can watch on screen and feel represented. You can call it blackwashing, race bending, or whatever the hell you want. I just call it a good thing. So there you have it, people. If a white person plays a character that in the source material is a person of color, that's bad. But if a black person plays someone who in the source material is white, that's good, that's representation, that's not a bad thing at all, you guys. What do you mean, hypocritical? Also, if you're watching this video and think I'm racist, I'm actually part Indonesian, therefore I am a victim and a minority 
that which means that I win the argument. Okay, fuck you, unlucky, GG, well played.